Hey everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. Um, I said I was going to wait to do the readings and the collective reading. I already did Pisces, but I already figured I would do the non, like, girl, you get your nails done sign. Because I did, I broke a couple of my nails and I'm just like, the Leo on me was like, cringe, do I really want to do a video? And my Capricorn was like, bitch, you better do this video. So here I am doing a damn video. Uh, I'm going to do the sign of Scorpio. Since I already did Pisces, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Um, Scorpio... Um, if you like any additional information about this reading and you want to book a session, please call 702-969-5427. I'm itchy all of a sudden doing a reading. You might be irritated. Um, uh, Miss April Nicole, CEO at SisterGirlReadings.com to hit me up for email. All right, so let's get to it. Scorpio, I hear a buzz. Could be somebody you ever had like those those um when you hit the street lights and the, it's the power lines buzz at night they might hear that share some loud ass horse flies Zzz, fucking annoying all right something about unicorns i don't know if you've been smoking or doing some shit but unicorns are maybe important a child is at the top you could be going for something new or something small clovers and lilies is also here and the dog in the journal you got the same cards as motherfucking um, Scorpio. I mean, Pisces. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put them back because those don't feel like they belong here. Okay. So, some of you guys could be going into something small. Maybe you guys thought it would be like something new. You guys could be having a new baby or you had a new start or a new beginning with something. Um, the child can also be an actual child. Maybe you had a child by someone that's very well established or it was a very lucky opportunity for you. Uh, maybe a friend talked about it and out of the secret. Uh, the journal is about things that are not known and maybe you don't see the opportunity in this blessing of the baby. But the journal can be about hitting the books or being um, known, having knowledge. You're not knowledgeable about a situation. Um, the dog can be a lover. It can be a friend. Um, maybe you don't know a friend is going through this. What is the dog in the journal for Scorpio? Okay, stop me. The bear. The bear is kind of reversed, but I will put it upright. The bear reversed and upright, I will tell you. The bear kind of gives me the feeling of reverse, uh, someone that's not a protector or a provider. Um, they are not a good person. Like, the dog is a loyal, fierce person, but the bear is kind of like, there's no, pro someone could be um, skinny, they could have sleek hair, because the bear has big ass titties and big ass everything. So this motherfucker skinny as shit, whoever this is. The bear, um, that's 15, let's see, we get some information on this bear. Someone that could be a good mama, but this motherfucker ain't no good parent, they reverse, sorry. Uh, a mother that would defend their cubs. No defending. Um, they guard, protect, and take quick action. They don't. They could be upper in management or be secure and stable. They're not. And their money, their personal income and possessions, they watch what they eat. They could be a slob. But I don't get that. Something big, small. Going to a restaurant or a person in power, they have no power. So, you could be hearing about someone in regards to... Um, either a relationship or about a friend and it could be an older friend or an uncle you could be hearing about them losing their stability or losing a lot of money uh it could be uh, it could be out but i don't get it would be a big idea a big big thing because this person comes from money with the lilies and the clover um someone i get i get a child is coming into um some type of money or the lilies is like a generational wealth. Someone is generationally lucky or this child is going to break a lot of generational curses. The dog is about loyalty, sincerity. A marriage could be a... Let me see. I, I definitely get a loyal partner for the rest of your life with the dog. Instinction. Someone that's a best friend or a companion. Um, someone. It's going to take a long time. Maybe you're trying to get a child with someone. It's going to take a while. Uh, maybe you feel like you're not healthy enough to have a baby. Maybe um, you haven't studied the, the ways or maybe you feel like 
Summer could be fucking too. I'm sorry. Summer could be fucking like the clover and the lily. Someone, someone likes quick, quick flings and quick shit. This motherfucker. It's no secret. The journal was out. Like this motherfucker has a baby or some shit. I'm so sorry, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> I just can't. I gotta be real. Someone is a dog, man. Let's go to the journal. The book is about information and secret, the occult. Someone has or has a hidden agenda. Someone, someone has no hidden agenda. Either someone to get someone wants to get you pregnant, or they are. The ship is about destinations, traveling, going places. This man is not going anywhere. <laughs> someone wants to get someone pregnant. It's not going nowhere. So, I just get baby. I don't know why. Okay, so what else is going on with Scorpio? Fuck, that was weird. Scorpio, for the month of May, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What's going on? The stork. Yo! <laughs> the stork. So some of y'all could be trying something new. Um, you could be giving birth to new ideas. Or your ass could be fucking pregnant, bitch. Some of y'all need to process. Somebody's pregnant. I, I keep getting that. Somebody has a baby or someone is expecting. If you know that, congratulations. There is a change in movement or a, a harsh change, but a positive change. A new residence, a new person, new income. Everything's new and improved. You could be getting a new at renovation on your house. I mean, under quarantine, I guess. Or someone could be literally holding an infant. There could be a change or upgrade or a distinguished, elegant person coming into your life. Scorpio. What is the story for Scorpio? The snake. So you don't know if somebody is really pregnant with your baby. Or there could be a complication with the baby. The fish. I knew it. Yo, you don't know who the baby daddy is. You don't know who the baby is. You've been fucking with somebody, but you, they stably fucking someone, but you don't know if this motherfucker is really your baby mama. It's a woman. She a hoe. This bitch stay in the bedroom chamber. She, like, you got some type of dungeon BDSM shit going on. My bad. I'm so itchy. Like, is somebody nervous and uncomfortable about this pregnancy? Because I'm just so itchy and shit. Yo, I'm not even fucking itchy for real. Somebody's energy is getting on my damn nerves. Like, is, some, is your baby mama itchy and shit? Like, damn. I'm, my boobs is all like, I gotta rearrange my, my H's. What? Alright. So, yeah. So, somebody don't know. Somebody feel like somebody is playing somebody for a baby. The stork is about somebody pregnant. The fish is somebody fucking pregnant. But the snake is like either somebody got complication. Or they, they can't keep the baby in them. Or somebody is trying to land some money from fucking somebody has a gold digger the stork and the snake somebody is having a baby somebody's pregnant the snake is kind of like well somebody is slithering up a plan to get some money they fucking to get something stable at the bottom of the deck is rats oops we come to a problem what problem would that be fertility someone could have a problem with fertility or they got a problem with landing some shit let's see what is the goddamn anchor the woman she's trying to get stability someone is trying to get pregnant to, to make sure they got their meal ticket set bouquet you're not even in love with this bitch house bear she's not even a good mama you don't love this woman she's not a good mother but she living in your house the fuck are you doing who is this bitch like yo no uh, -uh. Gentlemen, oh you ain't shit either. Never mind. She's more right than you. I guess you got some secrets in your closet. You could be a darker skinned man. Yeah, you got yeah, you got a whole bunch of family curses. I guess this baby's supposed to break, huh? Crosses. That's about a painful period, but someone ain't going through their cross yet. So someone is definitely just chilling. Let's see. So you don't know what it is, but that's what that's why your ass ain't shit. Both of y'all ain't shit, but she more ain't she you more ain't shit than her. Let's see. What else going on, Scorpio? I'm going to start with Pisces. Scorpio, we be dealing with Pisces. Um, owls and the key. So, you've been looking at some shit. You found out bad. You, somebody has been spying on someone, and they found out some shit they don't want to fucking know, or they have not connected the dots yet. The key is a revelation. It is getting your answer. Reverse. Ain't nobody got no fucking answer. They have been spying, and they have not come up with shit. Stop fucking spying, Scorpio. You're, you're fucking possessive, crazy. Yeah, you trying to find somebody cheating or being double standing and shit. You is so hard. Depression. Someone is depressed and sad and gloomy. 
and they are afraid of what's coming. The cross is about sadness. Grave is about an ending. Is someone spying to see if they're going to come to an ending or some? Someone's trying to see if someone's going to be free or stay. If something's going to stay or end. Someone is watching and they are depressed the stars and the birds. This cross is about burdens. They feel like there is no burdens. <laughs> the grave is something has not ended. This motherfucker is like, what the fuck is going on? It's like somebody is waiting for someone to be done with some shit. The bear, no protection, no comfort, nothing. All right, we gonna go use my my card messy deck. All right, what's going on for fucking? I swear I want to call you Pisces. What's going on for Scorpio? Somebody gotta have moon in Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody got some money, Joe. Somebody got the bag for you. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio got the bag, boo. Amen. You are the sign of inheritance, though. All right. Four of Wands. With your house. Somebody is unhappy like a motherfucker. Four of Wands is like a lot of false starts. A lot of false... Oh, yeah. Your shit fucked up, boo. The Nine of Cups reverse. You are smug. The reason why you don't have a happy life is because you smug. Or you got money real quick and it changed you. Or, like, you don't get what you desire because your life is incomplete because of your mindset. The King of Pentacles is a man that's stable, practical. He's a loyal, faithful uh, provider and protector. He got the money to do it, but he greedy as shit. And he'd rather be selfish and take all his cuffs, and that's why he a lonely bastard. The Five of Wands is someone that fights with themselves. Their bickering self-interest has led them to be single. Nine of Pentacles. So, two nines. You ain't got your ten of hearts because you a greedy motherfucker and you ain't shit. Sorry. That's how I see it. It's going to be a divine masculine mad at me like, mm -hmm. well, fuck you too, nigga. I don't give a damn. Look at that watermelon. See, that's cute. Fuck you too. <laughs> Eight of Cups could be your off path. You, you, this beginning ain't even colored in yet. Like, you ain't even you ain't even start your whole beginning yet. You don't even know if shit's going to turn out. Like, what the fuck? Someone is just hanging out with the homies and shit. Maybe, maybe you're hanging out with a girlfriend of yours, but you are, uh, you're feeling like something can't happen with some woman. You're going in circles. Bro. What's going on for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, damn. Okay, all right. Four of Cups. You ready to date again, Scorpio? But you ain't no good. You hesitant. Either you ain't no good. You spying on somebody online, making accounts and shit, making duplicated accounts and shit. This little spying and the shit. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody want to see that goofy ass shit. Mm -mm. Nasty good. Let's see what we got. Ace of Wands. You want to fuck somebody, but you want to be loyal too. Or you feel sex sexually like pumped up. You want to give someone loyalty. You are the Knight of Pentacles is a loyal man. He's boring to some people, but he's tried and true and practical. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, or any other sign man, Capricorn, Taurus. A younger man under the age of thirty-five could also be a man that thinks he's that age, or he thinks his dick is that age. His dick is aroused because it's Ace Wands. Someone is definitely like their dick and balls, are like you know, they got their eye pointing on you, Divine Feminine. They got some money they want to give you, but um, Seven of Wands, they are non-confrontational. They are so scared. Um, Six of Wands, they just wait for a better time. It could be an ex, someone negative returning, but they could be afraid that you're a, a, a gold digger or someone that can't depend on, or they're, de they're dependent financially. So someone wants to connect with you, Scorpio, but they feel, or you could be, it could be you feeling about this person, but you're afraid they may be a gold digger or they couldn't take care of themselves. Yeah, you just, seven of cups, like you're instantly, like this is reality. In, like you're not, you're delaying the gratification. So delayed gratification to date, you're not dating anyone right now. Ten of swords, you had some painful endings. You're Maybe you're afraid of being betrayed. You've been betrayed before. The nine of wands reverse, you just crushed. Um, a lot of um, delays. You uh, maybe women are com depending or de competing for you. Um, the Queen of Wands reverse kind of gives me the energy of um, Queen of Swords. I'm sorry, nasty bitterness. Maybe a lot of maybe you're arguing with someone or it's a lot of debates or you feel strongly about someone, but they don't and put in the time and work any effort with you. Or you could be feeling that way as a result of that. 
But um, the last cards I got for you, I'm looking at this thing right here. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to get to you, but they feel like they, they're they so confused or they, they don't strike. They don't strike. They hesitate. Someone, someone wants something and they don't go for it. Why won't Scorpio go for the person or the thing that they want so most? The mountain and the tree. The mountain is restrictions, like complications or enemies. Some type of issue, a big issue. The tree is about stability. The owl is watching someone. The whip is sexuality. Is someone sexually attracted to someone? The bear. They're attracted to someone big time. What is the what is the mountain in the situation? The dog. And faithfulness. Someone is a dog. The journal secrets. Someone is afraid their secrets will be out. They're afraid of their secrets. What is the tree? Someone is like mm -mm. the ship and the moon. Someone is afraid of mediumship. Maybe the ship is about moving forward, a destination, a change, a travel, change of residence. The moon is intuition. So. um Someone is not in tune or they are afraid someone finding out about them. Um, hmm, interesting. What is the owls? Someone doesn't want someone to find out. The sickle. <laughs> That's spying or talking. The snake and the child. Someone doesn't want someone to find out about something. The star and the fish. Okay, so the star is about new beginnings. And a star or a GPS. It can also be... Um, Someone is spying. The stars is like looking into something. Wishes, guidance, yeah, tranquility, peacefulness, doorways, hopes, wishes, desires, calmness, a guidance counselor, a guru, a life coach. Um, you are afraid of someone seeing into you. You're so you really are, as you're having issues with your money. And that um you have to make an abrupt decision. The sickle is cutting things off. Maybe you have a sexual addiction you're trying to cut off. What is the whip? What is the whip? It's about fighting. Fighting with someone. What is the whip? Anchor. Anchor. Stability. You have issues or irritations or fights about stability. Or maybe you fight with yourself. What's the bear for Scorpio? Okay. The garden. An open relationship. The grave. You're still dating the writer. You're trying to end this cycle of being an open man. The clock tower. You've timed yourself. You're trying to be a loyal person. But maybe you aren't done doing your own shit. All right, Scorpio. Um, what happens when you don't go after the one you want? What you, what's going to happen when they get away? The moon in the ship. Intuitively. It's, the moon is intuition. Or dreams or wishful thinking. It can also be about secrets. Things that aren't known to you. It's kind of like the moon. Could be dealing with the Pisces. I almost called y'all Pisces for real. Like some of y'all could have sun or moon or rising in Pisces. Or a north node. Mine is a north node. Um, a moon is about a rendezvous. Um, this could also be intuition. Someone just feels like they know something. Um, let's see here. In love, some type of strengthening the right chemistry. To persuade or seduce. So maybe um, you may persuade this person to come with you with a ship to go on secretly, a secret trip. The sun could be somewhere nice, maybe a beach. Okay. So you're trying to persuade them to go on a trip with you. What, but what I'm saying, what happens if they say no? They don't want to be bothered. You took too long. You must have an answer. The gentleman. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to be a gentleman. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna win her over. Lilies. Oh, okay. Give her give her that D. I'm a I'm a I'ma be a gentleman. Sickle and anchor. Um Sickle is making the decision to be stable. Okay, all right, you're gonna make a promise. Bouquet, love. Okay. Stars, a new beginning. Okay, all right. So you're gonna promise her the world. Do you mean it though, divine masculine? Because I know I'm talking about divine masculine. Do you even mean it though? The mice, bitch. So it's gonna be some problems here. The ship, you can't go nowhere. Ain't nobody going nowhere. The moon, no one has a plan. Or no one has a dream. The sun, to get something accomplished. The journal, it's a secret. 
So if something's going to get told by an enemy or a foe. The cobra is going to bring and open up a lot of activity. So someone's going to talk about maybe someone you fucked. Someone's going to know about it. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but uh, any, anything else for Scorpio before we end? Okay, someone is in love or they, they're going to provide help, but I don't know. Clovers can be a bad situation, a, a bad secret. Yeah, I don't know. You still didn't answer my question where you're going to be good, Divine Masculine, to this person. The ring. It's reversed, though. Fuck that note. The rider. Somebody is lying. Somebody going to tell you what you want to hear, but it ain't going to be real. The grave, the fish. They're trying to cut off their options, but they're not stable. Somebody is full of shit. Um, somebody, they're in between bitches that, this ain't even really they girl. So somebody still fuck with their baby mama. Clearly. Somebody with their baby mama. They know this person's a karmic. This ain't even a key person. Like the keys reverse. This person is pregnant with their baby or they got a baby with this bitch. And they don't even talk to this girl. They don't even talk to the kid. Or they, they have very limited communication. They could be on the road. See, what the fuck? Yo. Don't fuck with this person. This person ain't got this shit together. And if you mad because you a Scorpio man, fuck you too. Because I said to the Divine Feminine Leo ass alone. Get your shit together before you step to anybody, okay? Hell no. Nah. I'm going to out your ass every time. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.